Well, then came the report filed by CNN that Oprah Winfrey is actively thinking about running for president. Two of her close friends told CNN Monday the friends requested anonymity in order to speak freely. They talked in the wake of Oprah Winfrey's extraordinary speech at the Golden Globes Sunday night, which spurred the chatter about a possible 2020 run. The point being made is that if Donald Trump, a celebrity TV star with no experience of government, could become the president of the United States, well, why not Oprah Winfrey? The heartthrob of millions of Americans. The online Slate magazine and a provocative title article asked some common sense questions. It's safe to assume that Oprah will be in charge of the country in January 2021, if not sooner. But how will she govern? Who will be appointed to key roles in her administration? Might she, like Trump, promise to do overcome her lack of government experience and policy knowledge by selecting the best people to advise her? It then went on to list the dubious characters Miss Winfrey has promoted on her own television show. Dr. Oz, who is advertised as the miracle pills and fat busters. Dr. Phil McGraw, who exploited drug addicts. Jenny McCarthy, who was against children being vaccinated against infectious diseases. Actress Suzanne Summers, who took 60 pills a day to fight aging Donald Trump. Had a different take on it, though. People were worried about Obama coming to their homes and taking away their guns. Oprah will come to your homes and leave books there, which is far, far worse. This is a woman who, every chance she's got, told people to join her book club for the record. America elected another Ronald Reagan to the presidency. Terminator star Arnold Schwarzenegger was the governor of California, clearly says there's room for more. And frankly, if Donald Trump can win the presidency, why can't Oprah Winfrey? But does she have what it takes? Here's a SWOT analysis for you. A look at her strengths. At 63, Winfrey is younger than some of the top Democrats who might run, including former VP Joe Biden and U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders. Well, just like Trump, Oprah Winfrey's wealth could be an enormous asset. According to Forbes, her net worth is nearly $3 billion. Oprah has certainly built up a lot of goodwill among Democrats by backing former U.S. President Barack Obama in 2008 and Hillary Clinton in the last presidential elections in 2016. He's also contributed more than $95,000 to Democratic candidates and political parties. And of course, she's Oprah Winfrey. Pretty much all of America knows who she is thanks to her decades of appearing on television and acting in movies. Well, what about the weaknesses, though? All right. There are others who have spent their careers fighting for the same things Oprah presumably would. They can appeal to the same elements of the Democratic base to win public office. Even the most popular candidate needs to get their messages to voters, identify supporters and bring them to the polls. Experienced politicians know how to build such organizations. Oprah has none of that right now. Oprah's business ties are extensive and include a cable channel and magazine. She also is a contributor to CBS's 60 Minutes that could pose conflicts of interest if she decides to run. But the opportunities are immense. When a reality TV star and billionaire real estate developer with no previous political or military experience can be elected to the president office, then why cannot Oprah Winfrey? Donald Trump's approval ratings have fallen to 37% since the release of the book Fire and Fury. But there is also a threat. Would the Oprah aura be able to protect her from the slings and arrows of a modern political campaign? A day after her Golden Globe speech, pictures have already emerged her with disgraced Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein. So while she may have spent most of her life on a television screen, presidential candidates face a vetting and a much more invasive process than anything that Winfrey has ever endured.